of you who aren't familiar with the work I do, I'm a psychic medium, Reiki master, spiritual coach, and an intuitive tarot card reader. And through the work I'm doing here on YouTube, as well as my website, odessamall.com, I hope to deliver messages to you guys that will help you to awaken, heal, align, and grow. And I wanted to thank you guys for joining me on this journey. There are more than 200 of you now that are part of this little family that we're growing. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for um, subscribing to my channel and sending me so many positive and uplifting messages. Honestly, it, they just warm my heart and like fill my day with so much joy. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I am super excited about today's reading. I am looking into why people watch you. What are all the things about you that are just drawing people towards you? So I've got three piles for you guys to select from. Pile number one is partnered with Green Fuchsite. This is a beautiful crystal that connects with the high heart chakra that is located right above your traditional heart chakra. This is a crystal that not only helps promote more love and compassion, but this also helps us to make peace with the past. It helps us to sort of like release any um, blockages that we might be carrying from earlier in this life, past experiences with, um, you know, family or even relationships that might keep us from like fully loving ourselves which then ultimately blocks you from finding the ultimate love um, that is like going to be completely fulfilling for you. So this is a really great crystal that is partnered with pile number one and then partnered with pile number two, I've got strawberry calcite. This is a crystal that also connects with the heart chakra. It is a crystal, all the calcites actually help to promote more positivity. They um, help us to increase our vibration, which also helps us to um, manifest more positive energy, love energy into our lives. And then pile number three is partnered with blue kyanite, which opens up our throat chakra. It helps us to speak our truth and manifest all of the beautiful things that we would like to occur into our life. So I'm gonna give you guys a second to select your pile and I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back pile number one. So I've got your green fuchsite here and then your primary card. This is the card that's gonna give me an overview of why people stare at you. Why are people like magnetized to you? So let's see what you've got. You got the seven of emotions. So in a traditional deck, this is the seven of cups. So this card is telling me that you have a lot of options and I think that you have a lot of interest. There's a lot um, going on in your life. It just makes you very exciting. I think that you also have like a very multifaceted personality. So you like a lot of different things, which means that you are really exciting and appealing to a lot of different people. You know, you might be really sporty and then you might also be really interested in music. You might play an instrument and then you might also really like cooking. You might also really love literature and like you're really um, into um, you know, movies and television, like there's just so many different things that you're interested in that it kind of like keeps people on their toes and it also makes it impossible for you not to have something to talk about with the people that you meet. So immediately they feel at ease with you and really comfortable with you. And the fact that it's part of the cup suit, which is like connected with um, our emotional body, that I think that you can also really relate to a lot of different people. I think you genuinely really like people 
and you are interested in their story. And everybody likes to feel like they are appreciated and everyone likes to um, have people interested in them, right? And your natural curiosity about others just like makes you so super sexy and appealing to the people that you meet. So let's find out some more information about you guys. I'm going to get um, my dream vision tarot. So what makes people stare at pile number one? What makes people stare at pile number one? Why do people stare at pile number one? Okay, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Okay, so the very first card that came out is the Page of Cups. So, like I was saying, you have a real youthful um, energy about you, and you're really interested in exploring different avenues, different pathways. You like to find out about um, different like cultural backgrounds too that are different from your own or like you're just really interested in finding out about like you probably really like to travel um, or you just might be interested in like connecting with people from all over the world, even through social media. You might follow a lot of different accounts and be interested in how people see the world. And you are genuinely interested in this. This is like not a situation where you would ever um, be argumentative or um, want to play devil's advocate with anyone. Like you really truly are like completely open. I just got the word sponge. You're a sponge. You absorb all of this stuff and you're doing it because it helps you to find balance so you really have um, a balance between your um, masculine and feminine energies which we all have both of those at play within us so you can be really driven and then you can be really sensitive and really nurturing you also have a great balance when it comes to like work-life balance right you know how to have fun but you also know how to like get stuff done and you like you pay your own way. You've got everything under control when it comes to like your finances. And if that isn't the case right now, you have a solid plan. And this is how people like view you. They're like, this person has it all together. Like they are not going to be, for some reason I just thought they're not going to be mooching off of me. So like that might be another person's like past, right? They might have had um, people um sort of take advantage of them in the past and you know you just don't have that energy you know the people that are attracted to you really feel like you are a person that can take care of your own stuff and you are very abundant in their eyes you are the empress so you might be a super creative person as well. You might be somebody who is constantly like got new ideas and different things that you want to explore and try. It might be a situation where you have a lot of different side hustles, you know, like you might have, you know, your own little cosmetic um, company on this side, you know, where you're like selling um, eco-friendly cosmetics or you are for some reason I'm getting like little businesses that have to do with because I just heard incense so for some of you you might have sort of like witchy style businesses on the side where maybe you are creating crystal jewelry or you're selling crystals or you're making your own incense because the the sense that I'm getting and this might not apply to everyone but for a big portion of you there are a lot of you that are doing businesses that have to do with like getting back to the earth and like using natural ingredients and like some of you might be like vegan bakeries like you might be like doing vegan um like or gluten-free wedding cakes on the side or cupcakes or like things like that but it definitely feels like it's back to the earth in whatever way that resonates for you and but you have like multiple little businesses or possibly you're volunteering 
um, at like um, animal shelter and you're running a little business and you're going to school and you're um, working full time or you're working part time. And I get the feeling like you're all in whenever somebody suggests something new, like I'm keep going back to the seven of emotions, the seven of cups, where like if somebody had an idea, they were like, hey, let's go on vacation to Bali and like let's volunteer at like a nature reserve there. You'd be like, yes, let's do it. Where do I sign up? You know, like you're just really open to exploring and like I was saying, um, you know, filling your cups from like a lot of different sources and giving back, you know, like the Empress is like the epitome of mother nature. You really know how to like give back and you understand cycles. Like there's something about your energy that where it's like you have a certain amount of patience where people really are drawn to that because it's like, no matter how much I keep getting this image of somebody like spinning plates, you know, like, uh, <laughs> like on a talent show, like they're like got plates up in the air, or like they're juggling a whole bunch of balls. And um, you have so much going on in your life, yet you don't often get overwhelmed by that. You really know how to like keep it cool because there's like a certain amount of like patience and just like peace that you have with like the process of manifestation and you might not even recognize that you're doing this it's just kind of like you feel like you know everything has its time everything is in cycles right like the two of pentacles and that all of the things that are not working in your favor eventually will switch to being in your favor and if you can just focus on the things that are going right like gratitude journal might be like a big thing for you or you just might like spend time just like thinking about the things that bring you joy or like that's just your natural like energy and your your um attitude like you know someone cuts you off in traffic and you're like I'm not even gonna think about this because it's a moment in time and I can just crank up my music and sing it the top of my lungs and clear out all of this negative energy and bring myself back to my empress energy and everything is going to be all good and people are just like oh my god I want more I want to be in this energy all of the time they're just so attracted to that so I'm going to get you guys a couple final cards um, that'll give me an idea of why people stare at you. Why are they so attracted to you? I also get the energy that like you guys might be extremely beautiful. I have a feeling that many of you have beautiful curvy bodies. I get this real like, I get big bust. <laughs> really getting a, a big bust vibe <laughs> because the empress has this beautiful blossom at her bust line as well as the two of pentacles is giving me that big bust energy um and i get the feeling too that you guys have beautiful hair i think that um some of you might have like gorgeous big curly hair too but regardless of what your actual style is, people love your hair. I think you have beautiful, clear skin as well. Um, and that might not be how you feel about it, but other people, it's like there's some of you I think have natural freckles too. Like the, the face that I'm seeing in my mind is literally like your entire face is freckled and it's like so beautiful and people are so drawn to it. Like there's something about like some, some of you have very like pale skin with freckles and it's like so gorgeous and people like just can't take their eyes off of you. And somebody, some of you have beautiful green eyes. And I feel like for some of you, you actually might even have colored contacts and people like, I just kept getting tiger's eye, right? Like a tiger's eye. Um, like a, a marble, like the marbles that have like different colors, they're called tiger's eyes. 
and um, I think you have like beautiful, vibrant, colored contacts because I'm getting like like lavender, like purple and like green, natural green, but I'm also getting like a vibrant green, like, like a really bright green and um, blue, 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 blue. But you guys are striking and I'm, I kept, just heard exotic. So many of you have very exotic looks and that could mean that you have like a certain style about you that's really exotic. Like it might not necessarily be like um, your physicality. It could be your fashion sense is just really exotic. Like you might just like to m really mix prints and like different types of fabrics or you like to wear like exotic jewelry or there's something like luxurious about you. And I'm getting like still like that sense of going back to the travel. Like there's something like, like you're out of some sort of dream. Like that's the sense that I'm getting. Like when people see you, it's like you're, they don't get the feeling that you're from here. <laughs> it's like, like you're just so unique, so different and so exotic in your own way that people can't take their eyes off of you because it's like, wow, where did this God or goddess come from? Like, are they from here? Like, cause they just don't see that everywhere and they are so drawn in and so find that so alluring. Okay, so let me get a couple final cards. Why do people stare at pile number one? Whoa! Oh, man. Okay. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So you are definitely super exotic. When I said that you might be witchy, I have a feeling that that is probably true. You got the Morgan, the goddess of death and magic. She is, she is one of those goddesses that is like, um, sort of in the gray where she is, has very positive, qualities and she has darker um mysterious qualities to her she's she's not like black or white she's not all positive or all negative or anything you know she has this mystery about her and she's extremely exotic because she sort of isn't afraid to go into um to experiment and to um, dive into her, the, the shadow self, right? So there might be something very like sexy and dangerous about you. Like that's, some people might feel that way about you. You might not feel that way, but they just feel like, I don't know, I'm getting like femme fatale kind of energy now. You know, which definitely fits in with this other stuff. And that might not be like how you actually dress. It's just that like the dangerous side of you is the fact that I think that you might be the kind of person that it was like I was saying before, like, let's go to Bali or let's go on a road trip. Like, oh, we have how many, you know, days off until we have to be back at school. Where can we go? You know, let's all get together and just have an adventure. Like you might not even know where you're going. You just are like, let's hop in the car and let's go. Like, let's, let's, you know, drive to Vegas and see what we can get into, right? Like that kind of energy. And some people might find that really dangerous. You might also be the type of person that, um, uh, like will try a new business. Whereas other people might need to like plan everything out and you're just like, I'm just going to give it a try and see how this turns out. And you have so much faith that you can do things and that things are going to work out in your favor. You understand timing. I definitely get the sense that you're probably into earth magic or at least like the cycles of the moon, that kind of thing. Um, but 
you might also have an aesthetic that um, you might like to wear a lot of black. You might um, just have this mysterious nature about you that people really love. You might also really like to wear a lot of jewelry like I was picking up before because you've got Sophia, divine wisdom. And like this, Sophia is like one of the first feminine, like divine feminines. And, um, like the energy of this card with divine wisdom is one, the divine wisdom is definitely in connection with understanding how to manifest and also understanding divine timing, like I was saying before, but her energy is that she is extremely exotic and she understands about luxury and she also can express herself in whatever way suits her. You know, she's not necessarily a trend follower. It's more like a trend setter type energy. And this is at any age. This is the kind of person who like, you know, doesn't have a cutoff for when they're gonna stop wearing short skirts or heels, you know, like if you're a divine feminine um, or, you know, whatever it is, like wh whatever, you know, stage of your life, you don't define it based on like what the standards of the society are for you. You know, if you feel like you want to have like green hair or you want to pink hair, it doesn't matter what age you are. If you want to have shave half of your head, you're going to do it. Like, and not only do you do it, you completely rock it. And people are like, whoa, I would never have the courage to do that, but she looks amazing. Like they're so magnetized to that. So I, you know, I'm gonna get one final, final card to finish this off um, and give that one final message about why people stare at you, pile number one. Whoa, okay, let's see, what do you got? Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so you got achievement win the award, accolade, or contract. You are a winner. You are, like, I think you take a lot of risks. I mean, someone else might view them as risks. You have complete faith that this is all gonna work out. You might be doing manifestations and magic to, like, bring things into your life. And you win, 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 win. You just have things like, you get it. Like, you're, like, super positive. And by being positive, you know you're magnetizing more positivity to you. That doesn't mean you don't do shadow work. It doesn't mean that you like never look at the darker sides or ever have a bad day. That's far from it, right? We all have bad days. But you know that it's gonna pass and you find that balance and it's just like people see you as this like ultimate winner, you know? Like what I'm hearing is supreme leader. Like they look to you as a guy, you're an inspiration to them and they like cannot stop watching you because by watching you, they're learning from you. They're learning how to like do this in their own life, you know, and they might not even be conscious that they're doing that, but they like cannot stop watching the moves that you make and you might like utilize this. In, you know, even in your professional life at some point, like some of you might have like social media or just be leaders in your industry, you know, like this is truly authentic leadership, you know, and your, you, your heart's in the right place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. This was super fun. If anyone's interested in having a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can go to my website, odessamall.com and book there. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I would love to have you as part of the family. Um, like this video, share, all of that really helps me. And I'd love to have your thoughts on the, the reading. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Welcome back pile number two. So I've got your strawberry calcite here and your card. This is gonna give me a general idea about why people stare at you. Why are they drawn to you? So let's see what it is. You got the page of inspiration. So in a traditional deck, this would be the page of wands. 
So you are a leader and you are an influencer. You are extremely beautiful. I think that you're a very unique person as well. Um, this particular figure has rainbow colored hair. She is doing yoga. You might be um, somebody who is a very physical person. You might like to dance. You might do yoga. You might do any kind of athleticism um, that could be like, you're just regularly going to the gym or it could be you like to just walk outside a lot but you are like super like in tune with your own body and i get that that also me like it, it goes into you being truly in tune with your sensual side at all and i think that you have a very open sacral chakra so it helps you to birth new ideas as well as being in tune with your own sensuality, your sexuality. Um, the energy that I'm getting is that you have a way of being sensual and sexy and you don't even know that you're doing it. It's the way that you move your body just naturally, the way you speak, the way that you hold your mouth, you know, just in between thoughts, like in between speaking. Um, the way that you move and walk, um, the way you hold a glass, like I just keep getting dancer, dancer, dancer. Now, like for some of you, you might be dancers or you were dancers in the past because I've found that a lot of people who have had a background in dance, you learn ways of holding your body that you carry throughout your entire life. You might not have taken any dance classes since you were 10 years old, it doesn't matter. It's ingrained in you and that's the energy I'm getting. I also get the feeling that, you know, you can be sort of cat-like where you are mysterious and, you know, people like that about you. They're drawn to that. It's almost like they really want to watch what you're going to do next because you only re reveal a little bit of you, you know, like you'll, you'll come out of the shadows for a moment and then like that, you're, you're like sort of, it's not that you wear a, uh, a mask or you're closed off. It's more like the art of the tease is what I'm getting. You know, and it's not in a physical way. It's that you are, um, leave them wanting more. You just have it for you. I think it's just a matter of you having boundaries and you not wanting to let everyone into your inner circle, but it's the way that you do it that is so sensual and flirty that like, People are just like, literally, I feel like they're like knocking down your door. I think that you have a lot of admirers. I think a lot of people really want to date you. And that doesn't even like, you might be in a relationship. You might be married and you just, there's just a lot of people that find you really sexy and want to be with you. And I, if you're with a partner who has um, a lot of confidence, this isn't going to be an issue at all. And I think for the most part, most of you are, if you're in a relationship, it's a relationship like that, where it's like kind of they, your partner really admires that about you as well. Like who doesn't want to be with somebody that other people also find attractive, right? Because it's not just your outward physical appearance. I think that it's also just your natural energy. You're just a very sexy person. And I think that you understand about beauty and um, not in a superficial way at all. It's just that you appreciate beauty in your life and you try and treat your body with respect and you try and um, beautify yourself, you know? And that might not be every single day, but I think that there are some of you that like really enjoy 
dressing up and you really enjoy pampering yourself and doing nice things. And if that could be anything, that could be like you doing something like a manicure for yourself or getting your hair done, but that could also be you preparing a beautiful meal for yourself where you go and like you buy really nice things just to have a nice meal for yourself. It's really like self care and that comes through. And I think that you find sexiness and sensuality in all different aspects of your life. You know, like you see the sexiness and the sensuality that comes through in just like having a bath or, you know, for some reason I'm also getting just like sleeping. Like you just like to also have like beautiful bedding and a nice pair of pajamas and like, that that carries you through so that when like things are tough because sometimes we go through periods where things get tough right um but you have your daily routines filled with things that bring you joy and pleasure so you can have those moments of gratitude throughout your entire day and it like raises your vibration and people are like oh how do they do it? How do they like in the midst of all this chaos, you know, like if they were in your shoes, they don't know if they could like, especially with like things that are going on right now in the world, <laughs> you know, with COVID and there's like new shutdowns and everything. You just handle it all with complete grace. And you're just like, oh, well, this is just going to give me more time to work on you know, the things that bring me joy in and I can do more self care. And that doesn't mean that for you, it feels that way, but that's how other people see you. And they just want to, to watch you because of that. All right. So let's get some more cards and see why people watch you file number two. Why do people see Sarah, file number two. Why do people stare at file number two? Okay. Oh my God, I love it. This is exactly what I was talking about. Okay, so you got to start off with, you got the 10 of cups. Then you got the two of wands and then you've got the five of cups. Now I believe that this is going back to what I was just saying that in the midst of hard times, when you have situations that aren't playing out for you the way that you had wanted them to, like this could be a bunch of different things. It could be going into lockdown again, right? It could be losing a job. It could be the end of a relationship, someone passing away, you know, just you not getting the promotion that you wanted or, you know, whatever it is. Um, where others would be looking at the cup as half empty and really lamenting the fact that things didn't work out in your favor, you are like, no, I know that this is because something is better, something better is coming for me. And you're looking towards the future. The two of wands is all about looking towards the future and planning ahead. And what you're planning is your 10 of cups. And that's why you keep up this um, routine of self care. And um, you express yourself um, as fully as you possibly can. You know, you really embrace the energy of this um, strawberry calcite, which is all about self love and gratitude and fulfillment and joy. You know, you're like, okay, fine. That situation didn't work out for me, but that doesn't mean that the other 12 things that I have planned for the future won't work out. Maybe this didn't work out because something even better is going to happen for me, or I need to have that extra energy that I was going to spend on that thing that didn't work out to fulfill these other goals and dreams. And like, you will just find a way to find joy and happiness. Like I get the feeling that you're the type of person that like, let's say a relationship didn't work out. And it might be something bad. Like the scenario that I just got in my head is like, you were dating someone. This might resonate for some of you. You were dating someone, 
then you found out that they were being honest with you, they were lying to you about something, whether that has to do with, um, you know, their intentions about the relationship or whether possibly they were seeing somebody else on this side. And you're like, okay, I accept, that's fine. I'm looking towards the future. I'm going out with my friends and we are gonna celebrate. And what we are celebrating is the fact that I am a goddess and I deserve the best. And I am going to carry my sexy ass forward in life and um, keep my eye on the prize. And the prize is complete fulfillment in all areas of your life. And being with someone who isn't going to be honest with you or make you feel like you're less than is not that ten of cups. <laughs> and you are like just, you just have such a resilience about you. And like, you know, like you're the type of person that would have like a party to celebrate a divorce. You know, like, and that's great because those endings are a new beginning. So there's no reason to feel really bad about it because I mean, there's going to be moments, but ultimately your overall energy, at least to the people that are watching you is that you are extremely resilient. You're full of joy. You really know how to give love and uh, receive love and you see your own value. And you just like, and they're like, I also get the energy that you just really don't, um, you don't bother with the opinions of others, not in a negative way. It's like, you know, if you decided that you were going to do something drastic with your hair or your clothes or whatever, and, and somebody was like, oh, I liked your hair better the other way, you would let that roll off your back and you wouldn't let it sink in because it's like, that's fine. The hair isn't on their head or they're not wearing these clothes. You know, it's not really, you know that their sense of lack it's about their own feelings of self-worth, right? And you know that you are sexy as hell. Everyone else knows it too. So you just let it go. So let's find out why people can't stop staring at you, pile number two. Why? Why can't people stop staring at pile number two? What makes people stare at pile number two? Okay, great. Ooh. Oh, there was already two here. <laughs> now you got three. Okay, so you got iris communication. So I think that you are very angelic to many people that they just, this is really giving me, there it's twofold. I think there's a real sweetness about you, but a strength because I'm simultaneously getting angel, but I'm also getting Valkyrie and from this image. And that to me is truly like you are generous um, and you are faithful and you are strong and you are independent. And you also got Persephone in experience. So you might be a young person, you know, like in your early 20s, um, to, you know, all, like early 30s, 20s to like early 30s. And there is like a youthful energy about, even if you're not in that, you have a youthful energy and you also have an ability to walk through the darkness. Persephone spent half of her life with Hades in the underworld and the other half of her life on the, the you know, on the um, earthly plane with her mother or in the, the kingdom of the gods with her mother. And she was a symbol of the cycles of life, right? And this is kind of what I was talking about here as well, 
where you can experience things that are negative, but you don't let that taint you, you know? And Persephone always had, she brought the spring. She always had that youthful beauty and love within her. And that is a lovely energy to have. And then you also got cared with potential. So people really see you as being a fabulous communicator, having great potential, even if you are inexperienced at this point in your life, you're still building up your skills, which is amazing. And I, you know, for many of you, you might end up being entertainers because I'm getting this energy of um, like somebody who is on TV is what I'm getting. I'm getting like news anchors. I'm getting, um, you know, you could have your own YouTube channels. You could have your own podcast. You could have like some sort of like social media presence, but it could be that you want to be like documentary filmmakers or just something where you're going to be an influencer. You're going to be influencing people. It could be writing books. Um, it could even be that you're going to create like uh, an app or you're going to be doing, you know, um, I don't know, coding is what I'm getting, like working in tech as well, which would obviously have, you would have a huge influence working in tech. Could be politicians, right? Because I, I just saw AOC in my mind. So um, it could be politics for sure. But there is like, I kind of feel like everything is open to you and that's kind of the energy that you give off too. And that's what like people pick up on and they just magnetize you. like. It wouldn't really matter what you were doing. People would want to watch you. It's kind of like, like, honestly, you could literally be doing anything. And with that energy, I kind of feel like if you did want to start like a YouTube channel or something, it would be successful relatively quickly because I feel like it's just your energy naturally just magnetizes people to you. You know, like, honestly, I feel like you could read books on YouTube and people would watch <laughs> you know like you could literally be doing anything okay and I also get the energy you might really like jewelry or you there might be one piece of jewelry that you wear consistently it's sort of like a trademark you might have um a tendency to wear a lot of hair accessories that might also be something or changing your hair color like there's something to do with the hair for sure that's coming through that might mean that you have like um you might have like bright red hair like naturally you might have bright red hair or you might just have like beautiful curly hair or you might have like really full big hair like there's just something about the hair that's coming forward strongly i'm also getting that there's something about your eyes you might want to go back and and listen to pile number one because this came through as well. I'm getting this sense that there's something about your eyes, like either your, this is a little bit different. What I just got is that your eyes change color is what I got. Um, so you might, depending on the lighting, you might have like green eyes that then in different colored light um, look blue, something like that. Or you just have like piercing eyes, like people might say to you a lot that they really think that you have beautiful eyes that they could just get lost in. That might be a cheesy line that someone has said to you before. <laughs> and I also get the energy that you have beautiful skin, that it's very soft. That's really coming through. And that you have a beautiful, um, like collarbones. This area is really standing out. You might have a really long neck, you know, because I'm again getting going back to the like ballerinas, dancers. It's like some of you might have sort of like that dancer's body, or you might be really, really tall. There's just something about like long limbs, really being fluid, and I'm getting something to do with either you wear a like a piece of jewelry that's sort of a signature, like a necklace, or you have a really long neck, or you have like beautiful collarbones, something in this area. 
So that will make sense to the people that it's, it's um, relevant to. Okay, so let me get one final card. Why do people stare at pile number two? Okay, you've got the elements. The element of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. Oh my God. This is like what I was talking about. Like you are compassionate and loving and caring and supportive, but you also have boundaries. You have a sense of mystery. You understand how to use the elements around you to manifest what you want. That's like this card, the elements. You being completely balanced in the full package is the, the energy of the 10 of cups. Like you have it all going on. If you don't feel that way, it's okay. You're going to grow into this, you know, like this is just your natural energy and this is how others see you. So, you know, I can definitely see why people are really, really attracted to you, pile number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If anyone is interested in having a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can always go to my website, odessamall.com and you can book with me there. And if you guys haven't joined our family here yet and you would like to subscribe, I would love that. The more the merrier. Um, if you could like this video and share it, that would be great as well. That would really help. And I would love to hear what you guys thought of this reading. Please comment below and I will see you in the next reading. Take care. Hi, pile number three. I've got your blue kyanite here and your cards. So this is gonna give me an overview of why people stare at you. Why are they drawn to you? So let's take a look at it. You've got the page of emotions. So this in a traditional deck would be the page of cups. So you are a very magnetic person. You have a big open heart. People see you as very romantic and sensual, adventurous. You are the kind of person that can open up a person. And what the energy I'm getting is that you, I think that there's many people, especially your exes, that would say that they were a different person after they were with you. Even if they only dated you for a short period of time. It's like you open up something in their heart that you are like a real catalyst for change for them. You know, like you um might be a person who has dated a lot of people in the past or had a number of like significant relationships and you really went through like a big evolution within those relationships. Like the energy I'm getting from you is that you are constantly charging forward, trying to find and be a better you. And people find that so alluring. And you just like, I think you're a really beautiful person. I think that people really find you like, like I'm getting, you know, prince, princess type vibe, you know, like and I don't mean that you're like super girly or like knight in shining armor, just like a prize. That's like people see you as an extremely beautiful person. You might have had a lot of exes that like put you on a pedestal or people in general that put you on a pedestal. They just see you as really special. Eee, that's exciting. Okay, let's get some more cards and see. Why do you people, I'm also getting an exotic vibe from you. Like, um, when I say exotic, it's like you are like a beautiful fish on the coral reef. There's all these beautiful fish swimming around this woman. And, um, you just might, you're just very different. And you might not outwardly look different. It's like even just your energy that you just have this really like exotic, refreshing, invigorating energy. Like I got the feeling you have a great sense of humor. I think you're super creative. 
I think many of you might have different like talents. You might like play guitar or you sing beautifully or for some of you, I feel like you're just super active as well. Like you take people off guard because they, they aren't expecting certain things from you. Like you might be like super girly yet you like to, you have your own ATV and you love to go like winter camping and like you have a truck. And like, you know, like you can, you know, something about ice fishing for some of you, like, and that might not be literal. Some of you might be ice fisher, fishermen, but some of you might, that might just be like an example that they're using to, um, illustrate a point, which is that you are somebody who is dualistic. Like you might look one way, like a princess, yet you all of your like hobbies and your talents are you know like totally the opposite of what everyone would assume that you would be into and like that is so intoxicating and enticing to so many people okay so let me get some more cards what makes people stare at pile number three and looking at pile number one because the seven of cups came out in that reading as well. So this card is telling me, like I was saying, you have tons of different hobbies. You're like constantly charging forward and trying new things and like you like a lot of different stuff. Like the energy I'm getting if you uh, identify as divine feminine is that like you dress very girly, but like I was saying, but you like love to, um, you know, go ice fishing or you love to, um, I'm getting like, I'm getting a real cowboy vibe, but super girly, <laughs> you know, like that's, that's the energy I'm getting. And that can just be an example of energies, right? Like I'm getting, you're, you might identify outwardly on the exterior as divine feminine and internally you're more divine masculine which is amazing that is fantastic and you are sharp-witted too and people love that you've got the knight of swords and you also got the king of swords so this is telling me that I think that you are very youthful in your energy. You know how to joke around, but you also know how to speak your truth. Like you can really, I think, have um, a very um, sharp tongue, but in a funny way, in a, like in a good way, where you can basically throw shade in like all the best ways and people think it is extremely funny and that you're able to like illustrate your point and hold your boundaries firm um and do it in such a way that you can really still hold your head up high and people still magnetize to you um you're in real control right? The, you got the four of pentacles. I think you're in control of your own energy and you're in control of your financial means. And I think you're super abundant. I get the energy for many of you that you might run your own businesses already, or you have a side hustle that's very successful. And like, there's many different ways that you can measure success. This could be, I do think that you have a lot of financial stability, but your side hustle might just be that you have it like perfectly balanced with your everyday life, that you never have to sacrifice your passions, your side hustles, your hobbies, so that you get more of your work done. 
you know, you're able to balance all of that out. And I think that you also know how to communicate your needs to people, you know, and people really love that. They're super attracted to someone who knows how to speak their mind in an eloquent way. Like I was saying, like, I think you can tell like jokes even that might be a little risque or like dirty jokes or even make laugh at things that are super like juvenile, but in a good way. And then you can also be very mature and very um, eloquent and very precise about what you need and what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And I think that you inspire others with that. Like they see that you have both of those elements at play within you. And um, they find that very enticing and sort of want to emulate that to a certain degree, especially if you're around younger people. Um, cause I'm getting the energy that for some of you, you might have either younger siblings or younger family members, or maybe you work with people that are younger than you. They really look to you as a leader. They really like want to be more like you and they are magnetizing to you. But mainly this is really standing out to me, this glowing heart that you're still so heart centered. You know, you can be firm and direct about what you need and what you want. And that, that might be like in the workplace where you're like, you're totally able to like have fun and joke with people, but like also tell them exactly what you need them to do in the workplace in a very direct way. That's really like strong leadership skills. Um, while also balancing out like the love energy that you give to them, you know, like you're not like mean or harsh about it. Like you have that balanced, which I just love. Okay, let's get some more cards. Now, as far as um, physically, what is drawing people to you is I think that you have, um, like I was saying before, like I think that you have like a, um, like an energy that magnetizes people to you. I like, I think that you have your own aesthetic, but I also feel like for many of you, it is very polished, um, aesthetic that you, um, wouldn't necessarily be described as flashy. It's more like classic. And, um, like I'm getting the energy of like Chanel, you know what I mean? Like that energy where it's like very classic, polished, styled look. Like you look fantastic when you're wearing like a pair of jeans, a really chic pair of boots and a nice sweater, you know, but you're not necessarily the type of person that's going to be like really wild with your clothes, but you don't need to because it totally suits you. That like polished streamlined look. And I get the feeling like you really own your own body too. Like you, it doesn't matter what size you are. You don't let that limit you to, you know, only wearing certain things, you know, like you work with what you have and you accentuate that. You might also like to wear red, the color red. You might even like red lipstick. Um, I'm getting that energy a lot. Some of you might have even shorter hair, you know, whether it's like shorter like mine or like a lot shorter. And I'm getting the sense that you have beautiful bone structure, like maybe high cheekbones, beautiful jawline is what I'm getting like, or maybe you just really like love makeup. You really carve your face and it's like, but not in a obvious way. Like you do everything that you do is like beautiful, polished and subtle. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That's the energy I'm getting. It's like, um, an orchid versus like a bird of paradise, like that tropical flower. You're the orchid. You're the orchid, and I love that. Okay, let's get some more cards, but why do people stare at, oh, okay, we got two here. Oh, nice, beautiful. Oh my God, definitely 
the high cheekbones I'm definitely getting. You got Hera, Alliance, beautiful. And there's just like this regal energy about you. And you really know how to work with people. With this Alliance card, like I was saying before, you know how to be a strong leader. You know how to hold your head up high, speak your truth, but also have like a strong, um, caring heart. You've got Bronwyn and Bronwyn is the goddess of forgiveness. So you, if you are in a leadership role, and this could be like actually a leader in your workplace, but this could also be that you're just like a prominent, like, um, I wanted to say a prominent member of your community, which you might be, but you might also be just like a person within your family or your friend group that people really look to. So you're kind of a de facto leader, like no one appointed you the leader of the group. They're just, there's something about you that just naturally people look to you for answers. You might be the kind of person that a lot of people come to for answers to questions. They might ask you for advice a lot. And because you seem to have your own shit together and you have like a really great way of explaining things, they're really drawn to you because they want to have some of that rub off on them. Like I'm getting like Midas touch, everything you touch turns to gold. You really know how to like balance out even the hard times and you show them how to lead a heart-centered life. Bronwyn has also got her heart chakra glowing. That you show them how to forgive. And I don't think that this just means that you show people how to forgive others. That's definitely part of it. But also you, I think, are a person that have, has gone through hardships in the past, possibly even periods of your life where things were tumultuous or unsettled or destructive even. Like you might have been making choices that um, weren't in your best interest in the past and you released all of that pulled everything together, completely took control of your life, created this abundant life, really like learned your worth, learned your boundaries, figured out who you are, pulled your personal style together, and you magnetize people around you that truly love and support you, and you forgave everyone that hurt you in the past, and you most importantly, you forgave yourself. And people are like, oh my God, how did they do that and they want you to show them the way through there's a portal here on her skirt and you 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 might have um even though I think that you have very classic style you still might have um a tattoo that might be and it might be something that's very small but for some of you you might have a tattoo or multiple tattoos I get the feeling that you like simplicity. You might like to wear gold jewelry. Um, or if you're wearing jewelry, it's kind of like you have a statement piece. You'll like wear one thing and that is your statement piece. Um, that's the energy I'm getting. So let me get one final card. Here, that's going to tell me a bit more about why people stare at you, pile number three. Ooh. Why do people stare at pile number three? Okay. First card you've got is prosperity. A prosperous business with riches and success. So like I was saying, like I you got the King of Pentacles. I said, I think you have your like financial situation sorted out. And if you don't yet, this is in the cards for you. Absolutely. If you continue down this path that you're already on, right? This is how people see you. This will magnetize even more and more and more to you because others are already seeing you as very prosperous. So you might run your own business. You might have a side hustle that's really successful, you might be planning a business or you're the manager, 
within your own your company the company that you work for you also got dragonfly you bring light to this world oh my god that's so beautiful and the light that we bring to the world is love like love is the energy of creation it is the energy of acceptance and forgiveness and it raises our vibrations so we can manifest and have more and you bring that into the world people really see you as this like really really positive influence in their life and they just want to like watch you and know like i I truly, I think that if you're not already a mentor to many people, you will be. This might be something that starts to develop more and more and more for you as you get older. Because, like, I just, I get the energy, really, like, you you might also be, like, um, a business coach, something along those lines. Like, you really have your stuff together and you can bring so much beauty and positivity to the world wow i love that i hope you guys enjoyed this reading this one was really really fun if anyone is interested in having a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me you can always go to my website odessamall.com and i would love it if you guys joined our family here by subscribing or you could like this video and share it. That always helps me. And I would love to know what you guys thought of this reading. So please comment below and I will see you guys in the next reading. Take care.